Hello and welcome to Tax TV, uh, Neil and Ryan. Ryan, thanks for taking your time out, mate. Um, well, five goals, uh, you know, some surprise changes. Dave called it out on previous uh, preview that starting Tedich, a few people might have been a few eyebrows raised, but again, Ryan, you know, Michael Duff called, called it and it, it's payback. Yeah, I mean... I don't think any of us should be questioning what Duff is doing. He obviously he does. He, I think what we can take from Michael Duff's time at Barnsley is he, he does everything for a reason, doesn't he? Mm. So you know he's with the he's with the guys every day. He's seeing him out of training. You don't know if one of them's picked up a little niggle or somebody's not performing quite well in training or somebody is. You, you know you don't know what's going on, but he tends to, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't tend to get it wrong, does he? Mm. <laughs> so true. and and you know putting Teddy Chin. Um, I mean. To be fair, I really like Teddy. I know there's a few that don't rate him. I, I really like him. I think he's he's big, he's strong, he's skillful. He holds the ball up really well. Um, probably gives too many fouls away backing into defenders, but I think that's more referees being a bit soft than him being him, him getting it wrong. Hmm. But you know, proved him proved him right and proved us right and stepped up and got a good first goal, good solid header as well from that corner. So can't fault can't fault the decision really. Yeah, uh, you know, like you just touched on there from a corner. The set pieces, uh, we'll, we'll clinical with them. Um, yeah, I think his first three goals it was. I don't know if it'd been worked on, but I think something to have been identified with his height. Um, with players, what we've got in, in, in inside, yeah. Ryan. Yeah, the, the, the forest green defenders weren't, weren't so tall, were they? They weren't so, they, they weren't so big, and I think they've been susceptible all season to a, to a, um, a set piece with the first three goals coming from. Well, probably if you include the penalty, it's probably far coming from a set piece, really. Mm. But, Mm. Um, yeah, so I think you're definitely being identified, and, and we, you know, put the game plan into place, and it worked worked out perfectly for us, really. You know, first three goals come in, and they were very straightforward goals, weren't they? It's mm. a side down at bottom, struggling, you know, and I, I don't want to be too too harsh on them because that was last season, and it, it it's horrible being down there at bottom of the league, getting beat yeah. every week. Mm. Um, being sort of the the butt of everyone's jokes in that division for the season, it's it, it's not pleasant. So you know, I do, I do, I do feel from a bit, but you could see it in the performance. As soon as that first one went in, it was just it was game over, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like like I said, we've, we've been there, and it's not a you know you've once it it's gone against you. That's it. it all, you know, yeah. He game he game is more or less stressed over, isn't it? Um, yeah. I I have expected, if I'm being honest, for the screen a bit more fate in him. Uh, I think we we the war knowing how important it was. I went for two one, but. Like you, what you've just said there, I think once the score went in, you could tell their demeanour went a bit, and then, like I say, from following set pieces, it, it was well after the third goal went in, it was what's it going to be this score line, and you know, it, worrying worrying for for the screen in a way is that they knew, you know they had to win that, and I think when as soon as third goal went in, it was it's going to be an uphill battle as as it was it's a two note so. Again, we've just had to do his job. We don't think of that. Uh, we've got to think about his own season, like what you touched on there. We've been there. Now it's you know, but it's down to us to do what we've got to do for going yeah. on. Um, pleasing for me and all, uh, Ryan, that you look at goals we ever came from, different goal scorers as well. It wasn't just down to one. It was it, again. It was spread out again. When it different goals, yeah. different options. We've got goals all over the field, haven't we? Um, mm. Nice to see Adam Phillips, Adam Phillips on um, score sheet again. <laughs> uh, I really rate him. I think I think I think he's a great player. He's been a great signing. Um, you know, good 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 strike for the set. And I think he did take a deflection, didn't it? The set when he hit it, slight deflection, yeah, a, sl a slight deflection. But he hit it. It, it was going in the other side anyway. He hit it that mm. sweet, and it's you know mm. he's wrong footed keeper. But you know, you got to win to win lottery. You got to buy a ticket, haven't you? <laughs> so is it that? Mm. Is it that one really well? And then obviously to get the penalty, finally, unbelievable. <laughs> To finally get the penalty, I mean, it, it weren't a great challenge, but of all the penalty decisions that we've not been given to get that one, it was just was like, really? <laughs> Is that the, the one we actually get? <laughs> um, and then he steps up and takes an absolutely terrible penalty. It's shocking. Yeah. It's not just at keeper's left, but, you know, he tapped it in, so it didn't really matter at the end. But, yeah, it's good to see goals coming from all over. Um, and it, I think that's been a feature of the team all season. Is that we've got goals in the side from all over from from, from all over the team, right right down right down to the defenders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with Mans and Bobby Thomas popping up with a few, even in kitchen. So 
Just maybe need, maybe need this there to get on score sheet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eleven. <laughs> it's like what you said, Vee, we got a penalty, but we still didn't score from it. I think we probably been uh, that shot that we actually got a penalty, we didn't know what to do with it. But yeah, it, it about sums it up well, doesn't it? We've gone all season, no penalty, we 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 playing bottom of the league, no disrespect. We're three 0 up and we get a penalty. And you see some penalties, what we should have been having, and compared yeah. to that one, it was yeah. But again, you know, slight little you know, niggle. Oh, we were a poor penalty, but Nice to see, you know, didn't rest up models, followed up on rebound and took it away. So, yeah. you know, it it was kind of one of them when it, oh, it were a penalty. We finally got it. I think we got, you know, massive cheer went up when, when we finally won a penalty yeah. and uh, we scored from it. So, no harm done on that, on that score. Uh, just going back to, you know, Forest Green, I mean, well, I mean, not just for a screen, but any any team away from home. I know the bottom of the league, it's still not easy, Ryan, to go away no. and win fat, you know, score five goals against any team in, in, in the league, is it? No, it's not. I was gonna I was gonna say that to be fair. That would have been one of the further points where it, you can't take these sides lightly because what happens is you you end up what what happened to Wednesday. Mm-hmm. If you just turn up and think you're gonna get beat, you've got to remember they're scrapping they're scrapping for the life, aren't they? So mm-hmm. or, or you, you don't you don't they'll be scrapping for the life, but they're not easy to go away to. Um, especially if you take your foot off gas and think that you're gonna think that you're gonna you know go and you've still got to go out there and do a job and we did that perfectly yesterday. Was it the big? Was it was it the best spectacle to watch as a football game? Even though we won five one, probably not. You know, but that's I think that will more down to the fact that Forest Green are a bit they, they were poor and you know they slowed the game down. It was a bit slow and it made it, it made it a bit difficult to us for us to get really into a stride. But you know, credit to the lads, they still went out there even though it took them to about there regular flow of us, you know, of how we like to play, we still went out and gubbed them, which is, mm. you know, a, a really promising sign. Because I think in, in, in recent weeks where we've gone against sides that make it difficult for us, we, we, we've maybe struggled a little bit more than we have than we did against Forest Green yesterday. Yeah, so, true. Man. Yeah. All, cre- all yeah. credit due to them, yes, you know, it's it's putting five past them, we're good. I think oh, the only slightly disappointing thing, well, maybe maybe it could have been more, but especially with, especially with Ipswich winning six now, yeah, you know, but, yeah. All differences that, yeah. now. I mean, it was fifteen, wasn't it, at the beginning of this? So then that, that's good. So it'd be now seventeen, won't it? So it's literally mm. another point in it. Mm. It's literally another point. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, like I say, it, you know, Forest Green complacency, complacency can't kick in. And I think when we went three and out up, I didn't say we took foot off at gas, but you could tell that it was that bit of a lull, wasn't there? That uh, we brought subs on, and it, again, it's nice to see that. Amount of subs that are coming on, the quality on bench for coming off, you know, call coming on, scoring. Yeah. You know, he probably did disappointed if he won't make it side to eleven, which is competition, which is good, which is Duff's plan and reasoning behind it. You're not going to question it. He's got a plan for it. So for uh, try and bring in subs on to try and make that bigger impact and gives that bit of a, a kick up backside just to take it a back bit further. You kind of get it. Um and again, you like look at Forest Green. No real threat as such, you know. Warm, you know. No. So again, as a defender, you got you're looking at defence and you're thinking, just to be switched on here because if you switch off, they can get one, two, a couple of goals in it. Then it's oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, so again, again it's like that complacency. Yeah. Again, we've got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I, th- I think it was a good reaction to their goal because we, you know, they get the one. If they're going to get another, then they've got the tails up, aren't they? And they're going to mm-hmm. and they're going to come at you, and that's where potentially mistakes can be. <laughs> but we acted reacted quite well to it. I think it, you know, probably a bit of. Like I said, maybe a tiny bit of complacency, but it, like, let's have it right. But it was a good finish, wasn't it? It was a good strike. The lad's gone down right hand side. He's pulled it back. He's hit it first yeah. time. Bend away from keeper. You know, you give it. Give, you know, you got to give him a bit of credit. It was a good. It was a good strike. But the lads reacted well to it. Didn't fold. You know, I think they had a good. They had about five minutes, didn't they? There for his screen where they were. They were looked like they were trying to get back into it, maybe trying to do like the the uh, the impossible. But the yeah. lads just settled it. Set, settled it back down. Um, and it, even even the commentators. Said, you know, that the Barnsley back line are massive, which they are, aren't they? They're, they're all big mm, lads. So yeah, I think they, yeah. they bossed it, really, didn't they? And, 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 and saw it out. Controlled it, did a job, and move on, and we'll come on to Lincoln game right now. You know, it's a very good win against Port Vale, um, 3 yeah. 2. Again, for me, it's another tricky game, this, uh, Ryan. Uh, we know what oh, Lincoln right. did yeah. at, at our place. Um, a different proposition. I'm looking at the table like now, they're 12. They've uh, lost, lost, drawn, but won the, the previous three. So, again, we're on 55 points. So, right at the playoffs. But, again, 
you can't be going to Lincoln thinking, no, it's on Lincoln. No disrespect to Lincoln. Not uh, at all. M- no, they're free a good side. No, they're a good side. They, <clears throat> they, might, they might be mid-table, but if you look at the table, they've drawn a lot of games. They haven't lost so many. Yeah. I think, yeah. is it 10 or 11 they've lost? It's not so many, uh, is it? Let's have a look now. They've uh, drawn 19. They've drawn 19, yeah. So they've drawn a lot yeah. of games. So they don't get beat a lot, do they? 112, it's... drawn 19, lost 10. So again, it's. it's they've lost the money, lost the they don't, The only difference yeah. is that, that between us and them is that we're winning more than they're, that they're converting yeah. our wins. We've had the same amount of losses. So they don't get they don't get beat easy. So mm. it's, it's a very tricky um, proposition, this one. It really is. Mm. Um, mm. We cannot take this game lightly at all. I will get beat. Would you or, make any changes or, going into this game, know, or, Ryan? Sorry? Would you make any changes going into this game? Um, I mean, maybe not. I mean, Cadden's off the outfit three games, isn't he? So we're going to have to leave mm. Barakesh in at left back. <clears throat> mm. um, no, I think I think the the for me, the midfield, only potential changes for Ted Hitchin for Cole. Uh, definitely starting Norwood. But, you know, I, like, like I said, I like Ted Hitch, so I'll be happy if they leave, if they, happy if they leave him in. Mm. Um but yeah, we can't definitely can't take these guys lightly at all. Um, they'll, they'll be strong at home. We're actually going. Matt, Matt, we've got tickets for it, so I'm going Tuesday night. So it'll be um, be interesting. Another ground ticked off. Um, mm-hmm. But I think with this and, and Ipswich, these are tri- these are absolutely games where we can drop points. Yeah, it's very similar to when we went away to Exeter. You know, it's the, the tough places to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to be we're going to have to be at as best. We really are on Tuesday night. And and again, I'm. I said this to uh, Dave and Andy who were on uh, preview game for for the screen. We can't really now afford not to. It sounds obvious, drop any points. But even if we drew against Lincoln, I'm looking for the automatic spot. Still, really, yeah. you've got to be winning every game now, aren't you? Absolutely, you got. We can't. We can't afford to drop another. Before, before, Bert, before Burton game, I said we can't really afford to drop any points, and we, and we, mm. and we lost. We lost that game. But mm. yeah, if you look at if you look at the running for both Plymouth and Ipswich, you were probably two favourites now. I think. Yeah. I think Wednesday. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's brilliant because because it's Wednesday, isn't it? But you know, for a Wednesday fan, they must be they must be doing the nothing because they were they were they were running away with it, and then they've just yeah. they've just they've just. One it's winning eight. Rails a bit on it, yeah. That's, it's completely come off right, Wales. There ain't, there ain't any wheels left on bus to come off. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I think them two at favourites. If you look at look at the running, you know, are having a look yesterday and thinking, where are they going to drop points? Mm. Where are these going to drop points? Uh, I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's, you've got us to play out there, so that's that's going to be a massive game. Back in it when we come oh, to work. Yeah, I, I just really massive. hope that we're still there. I still, I, I hope that we're just still there that we don't drop. You know, we've got. Oxford Saturday, aren't we? And then Lincoln Tuesday. Yeah, they can win both them games and be right on their coattails. It makes it, yeah. it makes it, a, it makes it a massive game just to be massive. just for that atmosphere yeah. under lights. At Oakwell, yeah. a little bit, it'll be magic. Massive, um, a massive game for both teams, and I think more difficult for Ipswich because travelling on a Tuesday night, travelling up on a Tuesday night, is a lot more difficult sure. than at home. And we're very strong at home, mm. so we're absolutely still in it. We are absolutely yeah. still in it. Um, you know, I watched the Plymouth game yesterday. Um, and I thought they were, I thought they were really fortunate to get that game. I thought I thought certainly in first half exit to what Miles better team. Mm, mm. Um, you know, and goal ended up being a massive deflection and taking keep it wrong way. You know, there's nothing we could do about it. But you know, end up being quite a fortunate goal for them to win game. So mm. they're definitely still susceptible. But if you look at their running, it's 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 relative. This games they should be winning, really. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see, won't we? We'll have to see. I think I think Wednesday, like I said, I think Wednesday are gone. Um, mm. And I think that hangover carries over into playoffs when you've been so far up in, you know, when you've been so far, it's a completely yeah. different mindset. And if you just literally just miss out on promotion, when you, sh- you should you should have probably got it, and then you actually fall into playoffs, it's different to the teams that are happy to be in the playoffs. It's that menta- it's, mentality it's, it's mindset as well, and it affects mentality. players. Yeah, if you look at that year 2016, where Walsall just literally fell out on last day, and we got in mm. the last game of the season, it's, I think it's a different mentality going into there. So I think, I think Wednesday won't do anything in playoffs neither. If if they if 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 they do eventually fall into there, which I think they will, because I think Plymouth and Ipswich are push it are pushing, and the only team that could potentially push them are us. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the table and I agree with what you said via uh, Plymouth. I've watched highlights and stuff like that in Ipswich. Again, you look at the form, 
Ipswich, one, 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 draw and one. That's contention. I know Plymouth had a, you know, defeating uh, Papa John's trophy. But we've lost one, three, lost and one. But then you look at Wednesday, like you've just said there, lost, drawn, 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 one, lost. And mm -hmm. again, you know what I mean? After that, and then you look at us, <clears throat> one, lost, one, lost, one, one. So again, it's up there, it's very tight. And I, I, I'm even looking at such as like, such as Derby. They're just outside playoffs by one point. And they're fighting for playoffs. So it's that tight. And you look yeah. at, for me, you look at probably from us, well, yeah, you've got Plymouth on 86, Ipswich on 85, Wednesday on 84, and us on 81. Potentially, potentially, you could see them four clubs there on 90 points and yet only Absolutely. two, only two going up. That's crackers. And it yeah. shows you how, how much it is competition there, doesn't it? It's crackers. Yeah. Right? I saw some online for, from earlier on this week where it showed the top four sides in the league with 30, the last 30 games, all on, th all on 61 points. All oh, four teams. Right. All on the same, same, same amount of points. We were third on goal difference, but <laughs> it, oh, it, right. it, 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 you know, it shows you how tight it is at that top. <clears> the quality <throat> of the teams that are at the top fighting for those two, you know, two automatic positions. Hmm. But then, once we go to the playoffs, it's, it's, it's a lottery, isn't it? Form, form yeah. pretty much goes out of window. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Pretty that's much. Can, that's all we yeah. can make it automatic. Uh, yeah. What are you score prediction, uh, Ryan, against uh, Lincoln? Oh, God. Um, it'll, be, it'll be tight now. Um, yeah. Oh, my head's telling me it'll, it could potentially be a, a draw, a one-all draw. Mm. But obviously, I, I want us to get three points. I think maybe one-nil. One-nil. I'm one going there. to one. Yeah. Uh, I just think Lincoln at home, the the draw specialist, and that's a thing in it. It's a bit we're being drawed. Can we take the game to them? Can we disrupt them? And have that enough? Uh, that have we got all off at bench? And I think looking at bench, I think we've got just got that bit more quality to come off at bench in the second half just to change it and just <clears> to try and nick it. So it's going to be tight. I mean, Lincoln, like I said, draw specialists. When they come to work, well, they knew what they were doing. They set the game plan out, and they they took you know they, they did a job on us. They did their own work on us. Yeah, just hoping that you know, yeah, we won. We put five goals in against Forest Green. I don't want as oh you know so so some of the fans not all the fans but some of the fans thinking oh it's Lincoln City we put five against these rolling Lincoln. We won't. But you can't. You can't do that. Uh, we but won't. They're just at, beating Plymouth away, Neil. So now, yeah, no. this is what I'm on about. It's, it's it's a different opposition altogether. I'm going two one Barnsley. It's. I think it's going to be tight. I, I get. I agree with what you say. It's. There's not going to be much in it. It's not going. To, it's not going to be a goal no, fest. It's not. going to be a, more or less like a, a chess chess game. Yeah, I think we're going to get it them early. Get it them early. Um, and get you know try try get that goal goal maybe if, if, you know ideally maybe a couple in front just go go to them early don't mm. let them get don't let them get any momentum but mm. being at home get crowd behind them I think we need to get it them early um, yeah it's it's going to be very tight mate it's going to be really yeah. tight um, I just don't I don't want us to go behind to start, to start with because yeah. you know, I think last time we won a game where we were gone behind were were Derby last season at home November. Yeah. 2021. Yeah, you can't be we're, not, we're not being very good at coming from behind. No, it's true. Um, especially with a team that are quite, you know, that are strong at home. So, you know, and plus they've not really got much to play for, have they? Um, no. Lincoln, no. you know, they're, they're, they're no. well safe. They can't make playoffs. So, you know, they could come out and just play some free flowing football and just, you know, and have a go maybe. So mm. it, it's definitely a very tricky, um, a, a tricky game. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. But I'm um, I'm confident we can go and do it. Yeah. I just think we've got to we've got to get it right. I know the beat is at Oakwell, but we're a very different team to that team that got beat at Oakwell now, you know. Very I've got very similar players, but we're a very different attitude, different mentality. Duffy's got his stamp mm. on the team now. So be interesting to see what happens, Bill. Yeah. I'm confident we can we, we can do it. Uh, like what you've said there, Ryan. Uh, I'm I'm confident. I think you know, we got his first penalty, and although we didn't score for him, we got his first penalty. So if we don't go behind, we might it might be first game we come behind him and actually win it. Uh, but yeah, I think set pieces for Hills will be key. Uh, if you know, prove that against Forest Green, 
And I think in second half, some of the jokes, I think there's enough quality on bench here to try and change it uh, from, from yeah. goals, either Luke Thomas or Norwood or Cole, depending on who starts up from. I think there's a lot more quality there. So, uh, again, importance at game. Duff knows all about it. The players will certainly know about it, and us as fans will as well. It'd be a good following going down. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. But I'm going to one bounds there, fetch fetch points back, going to Oxford again come weekend, um, and again back at home, and let's uh, let's get it up and monster it. So it'd be interesting. Uh, thanks, Ryan, for taking time out, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, people, what's watching? Let us know your comments. Let us know what your thoughts. You know about Forest Green. Coming up against Lincoln City, what are you going for a win? Is it going to be a trickier game? Uh, where would you start? We, you know, what reasons? Let get involved. Appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and share. As you always do. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend and enjoy. It's even better now we've uh, we seen Wednesday coming down into playoffs as normal slipping away. So, oh, makes it even better. One thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>